welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this glitter cut crease so if you're interested just keep watching so I've already primed my eyelids and I have used this Maybelline mask conceal master conceal in 30 light medium and then I've also set that with my Sasha buttercup powder So first we're going to be starting off with the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to be taking a brown shade from that palette to use as my transition shade. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking Deep Cocoa by Morphe and I'm going to be carving out my crease with that color. I'm going to start to carve the crease a little bit above my actual natural crease to create a more visible cut crease. Next I'm going to be taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and I've departed mine and placed it into that uh, bead ring holder and I'm just going to apply this with a flat brush right on my lid also cleaning up that cut crease from earlier to prepare for our lid color that's going to go on. Next I'm going to be taking these two lid colors Magical Magenta by Morphe and Pretty in Pink also another pink color by Morphe and I'm just going to create an ombre pink effect on my lid. Next I'm going to be taking Royalty which is like a deep dark purple color and I'm going to use that to deepen up my crease area. Then I'm going to blend out that crease color royalty with um, the first brown that we started off in the beginning. 
Next, I'm going to be taking my J-Cap Beauty Glitter in Winter Icicle. And I'm going to be taking some Graftovian Mix It and Line in Liquid. And I'm going to be taking this silicone angled brush by Crown to apply my Graftobian liner lining liquid first and then to go over it with my J-Cap Beauty Glitter and Winter Icicle. After I've applied my glitter, I'm going to deepen up that crease again and I'm just going to be blending it out with that brown shade just because it, sometimes the crease can get lost after you apply glitter. Going back into my 350 palette, I'm taking that shade right there and I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyebrow. I was a little bit out of focus here, but I am lining my eyelid with the NYC liquid eyeliner. Next, I'm going to be applying my Coco Lash in the style Bella, and I'm just going to apply those on. back to my 350 palette and I'm taking that shimmery shade for my inner corner highlight. So I dusted away my powder, my baking powder, which was the Sasha Buttercup powder. And next I'm just applying that brown shade that we first started with and then a couple of other dark brown shades from my 350 palette to add a smoky effect underneath the eye.
Next, I'm going back in with my NYC liquid liner and I am going to make about three or four to five dots on my lower lash line and yes, makeup by Shayla taught me and this helps to create a fuller bottom lash line after you put on mascara. This is the finished look guys I did set my face with model in a bottle but I forgot to film it but this is the finished look hope you guys liked it please comment rate and subscribe